all right, just wanted to do a video just sort of explaining how the complex nature of the human skeleton actually disproves atheism and proves intelligent design. Because if you think this all just happened by chance or, you know, or the Big Bang or whatever else, or just essentially what the atheism teaches is that something came from nothing. You know, if we're going to be consistent with their, uh, their uh, mode of science, their, you know, false uh, science falsely so-called, like it talks about in 1 Timothy 6, uh, 20, uh, there, something came from nothing, essentially. You know, but then they'll make fun of, of you know, uh, religious people for believing God created heaven and earth. But I want to point out that the human skeleton is a very complex part of the human body. And it the, the fact that it's so comple complex and so uh, there's so many unique aspects to it, it's just that alone would, should convince anybody there's intelligent design. And sorry, I'm just running on lack of sleep right now, so I'm not, not the best in this video. Uh, you can tell when I, when I haven't slept very well as I'm not, you know, getting my, my thoughts down straight. But... This is something I just had to get off my chest because it was really just bothering me for a while. And I wanted to just to point it out. So first of all, I, I should point out too that humans can't even make robots with the physical ability and functions that the human skeleton structure is able to perform. It's it's pretty amazing how it's the case, how just how complex and how unique, unique the human skeleton is. So far, it's very hard to even make a robot that can even go up a flight of stairs or climb a ladder or that can walk or run in a smooth manner. Now, they have made some pretty advanced robots that can do all kinds of interesting things, but none of it even comes close to comparing to what the human skeleton is able to perform, uh, which flies in the face of atheism if you're a rationally thinking person. Despite all the modern technology, humans still can't even make a robot or a structure of a robot that even even compares, comes close to comparing to what the human skeleton structure is able to perform. A logically rationally minded person would realize that we were created by a mind far greater and far above our own human intelligence capabilities. Okay. What I, why, why do I say that? Well, because, you know, and obviously atheists don't believe the Bible, but this is more addressed to the Christians who will watch this. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 to 9, clearly shows that God is above human intelligence and God's thoughts are above human intelligent capabilities. It's that simple. So you just look at the complex design just of our bodies in general, but also the, of the human skeleton. Uh, any rationally thinking person who is not completely have a, having a seared conscience will know, yeah, there's definitely intelligent design. But, you know, the, the atheists out there, uh, those who are truly, because I believe most atheists, when I was an atheist, deep down inside, I knew there definitely was a higher power. I just was in self-denial, essentially. But uh, you have to completely kill your conscience to think that there is no God or there is no intel. I mean, like not just, just any God, but just intelligent design in general. So anyway, I wanted to point that out, uh, just the foolishness of atheism. Uh, and, you know, I should point out too, I'm an ex-atheist. So that's why I do videos exposing the sci-fi communist religion of atheism. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.